The following video is going to show you how to make a button in Adobe Edge Animate. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you're going to just go to create a new movie. So I'm just creating an HTML5 canvas and I'm going to click OK. Now to make a button, I'm simply going to, I can use text or I can use an object. I'm just going to use a square. I'm going to make a big square on my screen. I'm going to take my black mouse, my selection mouse, double click on it. I'm going to right click and select convert to symbol. For type, I'm going to select button and I'm going to select OK. I've now created a button. Now there's a few things I want to do with this. First of all, I can just delete it right there. But if I go to my library up here or I press Control L or go to Window Library, I can see my button. Since it's the only thing I've created, it's symbol one and I can drag it on the screen. In fact, I can draw, put multiple versions of this on the screen. Um, each one's just a separate instance. Now, to edit my button and actually do something with it, I can double click on it, and now I'm in, you can see the scene went to symbol one, so right now I'm inside symbol one. And if you look at my timeline now, you can see it says up, over, down, hit. Those are different states of the button. So up is like the button just on the screen normally. That's what it's gonna look like. Over, I'm gonna select over, I'm gonna right click and select insert keyframe, and I'm going to change the color of the over. I'm going to make it blue. Over is what's going to happen when I take my mouse and roll over the button. Down is the state that I'm actually going to see when I'm clicking the mouse. So I will select the keyframe there. And for down, let's make it yellow. So we have up is red, over is blue, down is yellow. Hit. Hit is interesting. For a square like this, I don't need hit. Um, there's really no difference in hit for a square because the square is going to be the hit. But if I had text as my button, hit is the actual hit box. So like I can insert a keyframe here and I can actually just take a square and I can make my button bigger than what it really is. So I've just made my hit box is bigger than my actual button. And we'll just keep it like that for now. So now I'm going to play my movie and you can get a feel for what this looks like. All right, so my movie's just playing over and over again, but watch what happens. My hitbox, remember, I made it so that it was bigger, so watch my mouse. Oh, look, as soon as I get close to my button, because that hitbox is huge, I roll over, it's blue. Watch what happens when I press down on the mouse. Yellow. And it's going to be the same for each of these. When you edit your button, it edits all instances of that button. So you could technically have a movie with, you know, 50 buttons in it, like a next button. And, you know, if you're making some kind of presentation like thing and it would edit every single button at one time. And that's how you create a button. Um, my next video is going to show you how to actually apply actions to it. Thanks.